but there are some things I have known that you can't expose yourself to the Holy Ghost and then you remain the same and this is the spirit who comes to lift burdens from the lives of men and where the spirit of God is there is liberty and listen I'm saying this from the spirit of God a great reward is waiting for you waiting for you I Ozana, 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 Alleluia, Ozana, 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 Toa Quimbia, Ozana, Ozana. Hosanna, hallelujah, Hosanna, 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 Toa Quinoa, Hosanna, 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 to a quinoa, Hosanna, to a cua bodu, Hosanna, Alleluia, Hosanna, to a Hosanna, Hosanna, Hallelujah, Hosanna, Makerubi, Namaserofi, Wai Nama, Beleza Ko, Hallelujah, Hosanna. Who 
simba yuda Kuna ito moto na oh Uminuli watu zaidi Uminuli watu penda Sina mwingine waku imi Sina mwingine wa kupenda Uminuli wa juzai Uminuli wa ju 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 Sina mwingine kama we Baba, wakuambudu ni we Umenuli waju sana Umenuli waju Umenuli waju Baba, umenuli waju Baba, umenuli waju Kama wewe mwana Kuna kama wewe mwana Kuna kama wewe mwana E baba E baba Sisi tunakuwa budu E baba Sisi tunakuwa budu E we baba Mimi leo nina kuabudu Hewe baba Mimi nina kuabudu Ikono yangu nina inua kwako Mimi nina kuabudu Sauti yangu na pasa kwako mwana Mimi nina kuabudu Beleza koni na inama Mimi ni naku wabudu Mikono ya kuni na inuwa kwa ko Mimi ni naku wabudu E baba Mimi ni naku wabudu E baba Sisi tuna kuabudu Ukuwa koni wa milele Ewe buwana Matendo yako makubwa Ewe buwana Uwepo wako ubo Pamoja nasi e buwana Sisi tuna kuabudu He Mala mayane Mala yanama He buwana He buwana Mikono ye Sisi tunakuwa budu Wewe ni mungu wa ishara Sisi tunakuwa budu Wewe ni mungu wa milele Sisi tunakuwa budu Wewe ni mungu wa nakati zote Sisi tunakuwa budu Hallelujah Glory, glory and honor Majesty, dominion The blessing, the wisdom Belongs to your father Thank you for Your heavy blessing The heavy glory and the anointing Upon us this day Thank you Jesus for your great name In Jesus name Amen there is a powerful connection between 
supernatural living and your mouth that is what i started sharing last evening there is a powerful connection between your mouth and the way you live because we saw yesterday that god doesn't lack in power he doesn't lack in mighty in dominion but when he started creating the whole world the universe god had to speak and so because we are born of him created in the same image the same likeness we are supposed to make use of our mouths we utilize the spiritual power that is released when we rightly use our mouths especially when we are filled with the holy spirit and when the word of god fills our lives to open what i'm sharing jesus was speaking in john chapter 15 and verse 7 john chapter 15 verse 7 the word of god says if you abide in me if you if ye abide in me and my words abide in you you abide you remain that is you stay if you abide in me and my words abide in you you shall ask what you will you shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you so you see there is such a powerful connection between what you will ask with your mouth or say with your mouth when you are full of the holy spirit and when you are full of the word of god and i want us to see how our blessed lord jesus the christ the son of god taught his disciples on how to use the mouth in a connection with the supernatural living and i want to say that you can be so powerful anointed you can even carry the spirit of god without measure you can be a very holy man of god very anointed but you don't have spiritual manifestations to match with what you are carrying you know christ lives in us the bible says christ lives in us by faith just ephesians chapter 3 verse 17 christ lives in our hearts by faith the blood of jesus is in us god himself god the father god the son god the holy spirit are living in us that is what john chapter 14 verse 23 teaches but with all these spiritual deposits in us we can live defeated lives lives without divine manifestations divine provisions security we can be so limited yet we are so loaded spiritually so that missing link as to why people are not seeing the manifestation of god as the ought to that is what we are solving and this will only happen when you accept the truth as it is you accept the truth as it is because second uh, corinthians chapter 13 verse 8 the bible says for we can do nothing against the truth but for the truth but truth does not just make you free there is a responsibility that God with the revealed truth so what i'm going to share i know it is not something new to you but the question is 
Do you live it? Do you practice it? Do you have you accepted the responsibility of making use of these revelations? In Mark chapter 11, in Mark chapter 11, the word of God says in verse 12, let me begin from verse 11. It says, Mark 11, 11. And Jesus entered into Jerusalem and into the temple. And when he had looked around about, about upon all things, and now the evening was come, he went out unto Bethany with the, with the twelve. Verse, verse 12. And on the morrow, or on the following day, when they were come from Bethany, he was hungry. I thank God that to be hungry is no sin. Jesus was hungry this morning. Then, that day he was hungry, but remember, everything that Bible comments about Jesus is for a divine reason there is a lesson there is a revelation there is a divine thing that he wants to communicate so the word of God says he was hungry that morning that hunger was not just there because he was just angry God wanted to use that to teach us something that is eternal. Something that is permanent. He was using that hunger to expose us to another dimension in God that we are learning this, this morning. So Jesus was angry. And the Bible says in verse 13, and seeing a fig tree afar off having leaves, he came, if perhaps he might find anything thereon. And when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves. He found nothing. The Bible says Jesus found nothing except leaves. Then I want you to see the last portion of the scripture. It says, For the time of figs was not yet. The word is clearly telling you that there were no figs. The season was not the correct one. Figs were not on fig trees that time. But Jesus is angry. And now he goes to look for figs at the wrong time. It was not the right time for figs to be available but listen that is why i'm saying you are supposed to go after the lesson our god is a teacher our god reveals secrets our god hands over to us the keys of the kingdom i know everybody who is who is in his right mind you need to see God in one area or the other. I also want to see God in my life. I want to see God in my, in my life, my ministry. I want to see God in another level. The Bible says, Blessed are those who hunger. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst, for they shall be filled. God is not going to fill your life if you are not hungry for him. You are supposed to be in need of God. Just the way you need oxygen to breathe in and out. Just the way you need the ability to breathe. Thank you, mighty God. You need God more than you need the air that you are breathing. When you come to a point of needing God like that, your life becomes a miraculous life. So Jesus went to the fig tree at the wrong time. 
he knew it but you see he wanted to teach disciples something and what jesus was teaching that time is what i am privileged by divine election by divine appointment into the ministry that is what i'm going to share with you right now verse 14 mark 11 14 the bible says and jesus listen very carefully and jesus answered and said to it comma he answered listen jesus was answering the question is was the fig tree talking there must be something that was behind the scene because god the word of god says and the jesus answering said to it who was he answering to was there a personality that was speaking to jesus and that is why i want to bring you to that revelation when you see things happening the way they are not supposed to happen don't just keep quiet and just say that things are supposed to be going on like this no we are a spirit beings though we live in the flesh our walk with god is spiritual is supernatural and what you see in the natural in your life is the reflection of what is happening in the supernatural that is something you are not supposed to ignore there is something you are supposed to live with what you see in the natural in your financial life in your family in your business in your career in your ministry in our nation all over the world what you are seeing is simply a reflection of what is happening in the spiritual world so jesus was actually answering to somebody it was not the tree trees don't speak so there must be a force a demonic personality that was there and the jesus now is teaching us how to deal how to deal with the hard situations how to turn around things that are that are that are stagnant things that don't want to move things that are immovable so the bible says verse 14 and jesus answered and said to it he spoke to the tree and this is what he said he said no man no man eat fruit of thee hereafter forever full stop that is how our blessed lord spoke that is why i'm saying the things you say when you are under the anointing the things that you speak when you are full of the holy spirit the things that you say when you are full of the word of god they are eternal the manifestations will just be be am I amazing things will happen beyond human calculation i have witnessed miracles signs and wonders by simply speaking when the power of god is upon you my brother when the power of god is upon you my sister don't just cry don't just say don't just enjoy yourself you are supposed to open your mouth and you declare something the fig tree and no figs it was not the right time for the figs to come but the lord jesus our master when they are to teach us a lesson he opened the, his mouth and they said no man eat fruit of thee hereafter forever i want you to learn a lesson from jesus whenever the anointing of the holy spirit comes upon you and you realize that you are not that
that person that is that is that has always been in a normal state you are supposed to stand up and you declare what the lord is showing you to declare you can stand in your congregation as a man of god when the anointing comes upon you and you declare and you say from this day diseases and sicknesses will vanish away from your body those so believe those words things do happen i believe in divine oracles i believe in prophetic utterances you can speak something under the anointing and nothing can stop it nothing can stop it one day elisha the prophet in the middle of challenges that is what i'll be sharing later in the middle of the famine he said tomorrow a time like now tomorrow a time like now there will be enough flour in the streets of samaria those who mocked one of the guys who mocked those words died while he was seeing he was seeing it with his eyes never mock the words that are spoken under the anointing and even now because the anointing of the lord is upon my life i decree let there be the presence of god covering you in the name of the lord that attack of the enemy i stop it in the name of the lord that pain in your body to disappear thank you mighty god so jesus opened his mouth and said no man no man eat fruit of thee hereafter forever and the bible says and his disciples heard it they heard it when he was saying so listen whatever the lord lays in your heart to declare don't fear you speak it and leave it in the hands of god you declare it and the god is going to do something that is beyond human human comprehension i believe in miracles i believe in divine happenings so jesus spoke that word and now listen verse 20 mark chapter 11 verse 20 the bible says and in the morning and in the morning as they passed by they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots it was just within a very short time after the lord had spoken he said to the fig tree no man will eat fruit on thee hereafter forever and the bible says his disciples added now the following day when they were passing there the bible says they saw they saw the fig tree they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots if you want to see mighty things happening in your personal life in your ministry in whatever thing you do on the face of the earth learn how to undress things from the root speak to them open your mouth if you don't make use of your mouth you will never be a partaker of these divine manifestations of god you see there is no way humanly speaking that fig tree could have dried within 24 hours that is why men of god servants of the living god never fear even if somebody is in the last stages of cancer hiv aids this covid 19 thing you are not supposed to close your mouth you open it and declare your spirit of death depart from this life 
cancer, you die from your root. COVID-19, go back to where you came from. When you begin to speak like that, God will confirm what you will say. God will confirm what you will say. Because God does not speak for his people. He confirms what his people say. God does not speak on behalf of his people. He will confirm what his people say. So when you hear something from the Lord, don't don't keep quiet then that God may go ahead and speak it again. No way. The one who had it is the one who is supposed to, pro to proclaim it boldly. With the fear, you proclaim it. You, you announce it publicly without fear. Like now, last Sunday it was on last Sunday it was on 10th I heard God very clearly and I saw a thick black cloud leaving the face of the earth and I prophesied that the life is going to be normal again all over the world whether corona is there or not everybody is going to be allowed to live the way they were living before that is something that i saw so i can't be i can't be silenced by men i can't be silenced by demonic powers i must boldly declare with my mouth what i saw because if i don't do so jehovah will never confirm it isaiah 44 isaiah 44 verse 26 the bible says that god confirms the word of his servant that confirmeth the word of his servant and uh, performs the counsel of his messengers that says to jerusalem you say you say that says to jerusalem thou shall be inhabited and to the cities of judah you shall be built up and i will raise up the decayed places thereof so if you don't open your mouth and declare what you are believing nothing will ever happen so verse verse 27 that saith to the deep be dry and i will dry up thy rivers that says to cyrus he is my shepherd and shall perform all my pleasure even saying to jerusalem thou shalt be built and to the temple thy foundation shall be laid that is a powerful chapter isaiah 44 beginning from verse 26 if you don't say it with your mouth you will never see supernatural provisions you will never live a supernatural life if you keep on closing your mouth christians believers are so disciplined so indisciplined they say that nimejifunza kunyamaza umejifunza kunyamaza i pity that kind of mentality you are supposed to open your mouth declare closed doors to open command sick bodies to be healed command powers of darkness to depart and they will depart glory to god so just repeating isaiah chapter 44 verse 26 that says that confirms the word of his servant and performed the counsel of his messengers that says to jerusalem you speak to jerusalem thou shall be inhabited men and women business people why are you just sitting there with what you are selling as if you are one of one of the one of the commodities being sold one of the items that are being sold 
you are there to speak. You declare to what you are selling. You must be bought today. You must be bought today. If you have somebody in the hospital, declare you must be discharged. The powers of sickness and disease are losing their grip on you. That says to Jerusalem, thou shalt be inhabited. And to the cities of Judah, you shall be built. If you are building a house somewhere and the funds are not coming to finish it, don't wait for, for the money to come with your closed mouth. It will never happen. Declare with your mouth that money is coming. The glory of God is coming. And what you started, you will finish. What you started, you will finish. Then he says, and I will raise up the decayed places. Any place that is decaying, it is supposed to hear the voice of God and come back to life. You are not supposed to allow anything or anybody to silence you. Verse 27, that says to the deep, be dry and I will dry up thy rivers. That says to Cyrus, he is my shepherd and shall perform all my pleasure. Even saying, saying to Jerusalem, thou shalt be built and to the temple, you say to the temple, thy foundation shall be laid. I am believing God that around the world this day, God is going to raise men, to raise women, to raise servants who are not going to close their mouths. They are going to declare and something is going to happen in their lives. When you see things happening, don't just keep quiet. You are supposed to stand up and you declare that something must change here today. Poverty, depart from here. Fear, depart from here. If, you see, you declare any bondage of the, of the enemy. Be broken and then Jehovah breaks them. Accept responsibility from today. Begin to use and to utilize the resource of the kingdom called your mouth. Called your mouth. This is the day Jehovah is going to anoint your tongue. You see, he told Isaiah, the Bible says, and an angel came with a, with a thong. He picked a call that is a life call from the altar. And then it was put in his mouth. And the God told him, I have sanctified your life. I have sanctified your tongue. You go and prophesy. I pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus. May Jehovah touch your tongue this morning. Begin to be anointed with the fresh oil. And from this time, accept responsibility of declaring whatever the Lord is revealing to you. Thank you, Father, for this man and women. In Jesus' name. For those who are not born again, there is no way you can be saved by wishing. Somebody must accept responsibility of getting born again by confession. Say this prayer after me. Say, Jesus, I accept that I'm a sinner and I have no power to save myself. But I believe you died on the cross. You shed your blood for the remission of my sins. I believe you were buried in the grave. You rose again on the third day for my justification. Write my name in the book of life. I confess with my mouth that Jesus, you are the son of God. You are the Christ. By faith, I receive you into my heart. And now I know I am born again. I'm a child of God. Thank you, Jesus. 
thank you son of God somebody there my partners around the world I want us to keep on being faithful and loyal to the vision of preaching and the teaching the word of God I want us to honor God this morning with our tithes I believe in tithing I believe in tithing I believe in giving offerings to God I believe in giving to advance the kingdom so you are there I want you to give as if you are the only one person partnering with me to advance the kingdom of God by preaching the gospel our information is there you go to your Mpesa, Lipa na Mpesa buy goods and services till number is there 84 84 just be faithful and let the blessing of God be upon your life exact at 1.30 one that today I will continue with Mark chapter 11 to show you how your mouth is connected with the supernatural living have a blessed day Jesus is Lord Amen the word of God I don't know everything but there are some things I have known that you can't expose yourself to the Holy Ghost and then you remain the same and this is the spirit who comes to lift burdens from the lives of men and where the spirit of God is there is liberty and listen I'm saying this from the spirit of God a great reward is waiting for you waiting for you